Hey guys, so I was asked if I could do a piercing experience video for my conch piercing and I'm going to do that today. I ha I've had some piercing experience videos up in the past, but they were really old from like when I first started my channel and stuff, so um, this actually didn't start off as just a conch piercing because I had this, I had this jewelry in it, which I mean is what they usually put in it when you get your conch pierced anyway, but it was, it sat like this in my ear and there was a hole up here too, so it was an orbital piercing, I guess is what it's called, and that just did not work out. It took forever, it, it actually never wanted to heal the whole, I had it for like a few years and I was stupid and never took it out thinking it would finally heal. And it didn't want to. I couldn't sleep on my ear. It was horrible because it was this hole up here that was the pain in the butt and it just never wanted to heal. It was always getting infected. Um, so this was the jewelry that I had in it. I actually want to put this back in there. I've had it in there a couple times. I just have a plug in there right now, but it aggravates me when I sleep because of the way it sits on the back of your ear there. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of getting too far ahead of myself here but um I'm not good with piercing prices I can't really tell you what things cost because I was friends with the guy that worked there and I would like bring him jewelry all the time and he'd just pierce me for like 20 bucks so I want to say it's gonna be like 50 75 dollars to get that pierced um just based on what they usually charge but um this was the jewelry it was pierced with like I said I had to do two holes so the the top right here actually hurt more getting it pierced than the conch itself um everybody always says that you hear like a loud pop noise and th i was waiting for it and it was it wasn't super loud but i did hear it um yeah i got it done so long ago that i'm trying to remember how it was. I mean, it didn't, I thought it was going to hurt really bad. He pierced it with a, I want to say he pierced it with a 12 gauge, but put 10 gauge jewelry through it. So I want to say this is 10. I don't know. See, it was so long ago, I can't remember. But he said that that would keep it from like super bleeding a lot and everything because it kind of like plugs it up. I don't know. I just listened to him, whatever. Um, but it didn't really bleed that much, and I guess that's why, but he kind of like had to cram it through because it had to go through the hole that was up here too, and it was just a very uncomfortable experience. But it didn't, like I said, it made a little pop noise when he put the needle through, and I was laying down because I've only ever had, when I had my, I used to have my tragus pierced on this side, and that was the only time I've ever sat up for a piercing. Every other time they've had me lay down. Um, but... It really, it took like, I was in and out of there because he pierced the conch part first, um, stuck the, <laughs> stuck this kind of like in there like that and then I don't even know how this was, you know that? And then he kind of had to, after he pierced the top part, he had to thread it through that hole too and then it sat so that the bead was in the front like this. And it looked really cool. I loved that piercing, but it just didn't want to heal for me. So I eventually, I took it out. I let this hole close up and I just have it as a conch piercing now. But, um, the healing for me sucked, like I said, because it didn't want to heal. <laughs> the conch part was fine, but then this part kept wanting to get like the little keloid bubble on it. It would get infected. It was always achy if I fell asleep on this ear. I used to have to sleep like this. Like I still sleep like that now because I got so accustomed to sleeping like this so that my ear wouldn't hit my pillow. So annoying. I was so stupid. Um, but as soon as I took, took it out and let this part heal and just had this one, it was fine. Like this hasn't bothered me since it hasn't once gotten infected and it's been like 10 years, something like that, since I had this done. That makes me feel really old. Um, but yeah, it's been fine. And I actually, now that I have this, I kind of want to put this jewelry back in here. I just have a 10 gauge plug in there. I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of like having the straight jewelry in there because now if I put this in there and it's got a curve, it's probably going to irritate me. But let's see.
doesn't give me any issues probably after like I said after I took out the uh, and let the other hole close up it's been probably one of the easiest piercings I've had to deal with like healing wise and just never giving me any issues whatsoever there we go I think it just it looks cooler like this than having the plug in there but I just it's probably gonna aggravate me but I'll leave it like this for a while and see see I just like the way that it sits on the back of your ear like that and it looks nice um, but anyway um, that's pretty much it it was quick and easy it didn't hurt any more than uh, other piercings that I've had I've had a lot of piercings but my body heals so quick and it just wants to reject things that pretty much the only thing I've been able to keep are the ones in my ears. Um, I have an industrial, I have the conch, I had a tragus but I took that one out because that one kind of just wanted to push its way out too. Um, and then just my cartilage and a couple holes, I have four holes on this ear and three on this ear. Um, but I had, I used to have um, what do you call it, dermals in the eyes of my birds, and I did a video on those actually, and they ended up just pushing their way out. I had surface piercings in my hip, that in like in the shape of a star, those eventually pushed their way out. I had, um, I had my belly button pierced in three places, like I had it the normal belly button piercing on the top and then I had two on the bottom so that they made a triangle and the bottom two pushed their way out and the top one eventually pushed its way out but um, it's just I can't keep piercings for some reason I love them but they don't like me um, so if you want any other videos like this or I'm gonna I actually have to make one about a tattoo healing cream type thing so I'll talk about tattoos in that one but if you want any other videos like this, like I said, it's been a long time since I've gotten the piercings that I have in my ears or even since I, the last piercings I had were my, um, the last ones I got anyway were my dermals, which was like four years ago. Um, so it's been a long time since I've had any type of piercing, but I can remember the experience if you want me to talk about anything else. So, um, that's it for that. It was a... Uh, not as scary as you would think. It is like a, a thick part of your ear to get pierced, but they use sharp needles and they know what they're doing as long as you go to a reputable place. <laughs> like, do your research. Don't just go to some ghetto place because it's cheap because you will get what you pay for. Um, anyways, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.